On this episode of China Uncensored, children are our terrifying future. Hi, welcome to China Uncensored. I'm your host, Chris Chappell. Children are our future, and therefore the greatest threat to those living in power today. Did you know that every single high-ranking official, businessman, even generals we have today will be replaced by the next generation? Clearly, there is a war coming between this generation and the next, and I, for one, think we should wipe out the next before it's too late. Thankfully, the Chinese government is leading the fight against the future, one child at a time. According to a new report by Human Rights Watch, a U.S.-based rights group, China has successfully left 40 percent of its disabled population illiterate. Interviews with disabled children show that schools either deny them admission, pressure them to quit, or make schools so difficult for them that they'll quit on their own. Let's take the visually impaired for an example. China has 17 million visually impaired people, but only a tiny, tiny fraction of those people manage to get any sort of education. Currently, there are just 22 schools for the blind with 1,500 students. Compare that with the 17,000 who are trained to be masseuses, apparently the only thing the government thinks that blind people can do. Okay, some people might be offended that the Chinese government so grossly discriminates against the estimated 83 million people with physical or mental disabilities, but hey, it's not like they're blocking them from getting married or having babies. Anymore, they did used to do that. So here's the thing. The way they have the entire education system set up in China, and I'm not just talking about academics, I'm also talking about the arts, music, and athletics, has become so aggressively competitive that only the top 1 percent can get anywhere, and everyone else is left in the dust. I talked about this phenomenon and how it affects athletes in China. Basically, child athletes are forced to train non-stop, and if they can't become Olympic gold medal winners or movie stars like Jet Li, they could end up as beggars on the streets of Beijing because they were denied an education. So with an attitude that only the best are worthy, of course there's going to be discrimination against those with disabilities, regardless of the fact that it's been proven time and time again that people with disabilities are just as capable of making meaningful contributions to society. In fact, the push to, at least on the surface, outcompete the rest of the world on every front with these super elite super beings is actually creating an incredibly unstable society where there is no middle ground. You're either the best or you're nothing. So then you have this massive body of disenfranchised youth who can't find good jobs, can't afford good housing, and have no representation in the government, and so that push for success is actually making society incredibly unstable. I mean, unemployment amongst young people is a huge problem. According to the Financial Times, by May, 72 percent of graduating students in Beijing were unemployed. China's state-run People Daily even admits that about a third of the unemployed population in Beijing is under 35. So if so many people in China face these kinds of handicaps, what room is there for people who are actually handicapped, especially when they don't get an equal chance in receiving an education? Thanks for watching this episode of China Uncensored. Be sure to share your reactions in the comment section below and follow China Uncensored on Twitter or like it on Facebook for more. I'll be back tomorrow with another new episode. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. See you then.